Hello, I'm Jeff Miles, the business doctor. For many years I've been asked, why would a business want to acquire another business rather than growing organically or under its own steam? So in this short message, I'd just like to show you a consideration that you may also like to run the numbers on any potential takeover target before considering applying those same resources to growing your business organically. In this example, I'm going to assume that we are achieving a gross profit margin of 50%. That is, our cost of goods sold will be raised by 100% so that we can get a gross profit margin of 50% of that markup. So the numbers would go simply like this. Let's assume we've got sales of $1 million. We've got cost of goods of half of that, 500000 That would naturally leave us with the same gross profit margin of $500,000. We now come down to our expenses. In this example, our rent, insurance, accounting fees, and lots of other expenses, let's say that they all add up to $350,000. Lastly, our drawings budget or wages or recompense to the owners of the business will come out at $50,000. So in this example, we've got 350 plus 50, means that we've got a $400,000 total expense budget, leaving us with $100,000 at the net profit line. And the NP stands for obviously net profit. Now alternately, if we were going to grow our business by say 10%, which is a quite an aggressive target level, we'd see our sales increase by 10%, which is the same as saying we're going to increase it to $1.1 million. Obviously, if we use the same example here, that extra $100,000 of revenue is going to cost the company $50,000. If there's another way, it could go something like this. We do the same sort of graph, but let's say we want to go and look at purchasing a competitor. Now, this business of yours might be netting $100,000. So we ask ourselves, is it possible that we could purchase a competitor's business identical to ours and merge it into our business? Let's say they're running out of another factory and we could bring their whole factory into our operation or we might be able to go into theirs. We'd keep their separate telephone number transfer the calls to us or we would move into their premises and transfer our phone number to their premises and have two separate phone numbers. So the numbers may work something like this. We now have a business that's combined that's worth two million dollars in turnover, that has one hundred thousand dollars of expenses for our cost of goods which include our wages and all of our materials costs. That will leave us with a gross profit of $1 million. Now our expenses for rent uh, for running out of one premises would still be the same. The insurance for the building would not really go up that much. Our accounting fees would not change dramatic dramatically. Our drawings, well, they wouldn't change from the other owner because that other owner now is no longer there because we bought them out. So I wonder how much we would be prepared to pay for this business. Would it be possible to pay $100,000 and buy a business for one year's worth of net profit? Perhaps we might go as high as $200,000. Well, let's see if this calculation makes it worthwhile as considering this. We take our gross profit margin, which is $1 million. We minus away our $400,000, but let's add an extra 100,000 and make that a total of $500,000 of expenses. So that goes into there as well. 
And now we're going to be left with a net profit of 500,000 away from our 1 million. That is an amazing 500 thousand dollars. So we've got our gross profit of one million dollars. We take off our expenses which were four hundred thousand. I've added an extra one hundred thousand dollars to make it five hundred thousand dollars of expenses. So therefore our total expenses have gone from four to five hundred thousand including our drawings. That $500,000 of total expenses taken away from our $1 million of gross profit leaves us with a whopping $500,000, which is a lot better than 10% growth. So what I'd like to commend to you is the benefits of considering an acquisition rather than just organic growth. Until next time, I'm Jeff Miles, The Business Doctor. And I wish you all the success that you can earn.